This is Musical Memories, and I'm Martha Garvin. I am so thrilled that we're going to get to spend this time around the piano, you and me singing these old songs. You noticed right away I did songs about the Good Shepherd and the beautiful pictures of the Good Shepherd. Have you ever seen a, a shepherd picture like that that doesn't touch your heart and make you feel comforted? I think so. And I think I quickly must tell you, maybe I owe someone an apology. You know, I so love these. I've invited you to send in requests, and you have, and I thank you. And often when we have request program, I bring more requests than I can ever get in in our 30 minutes that we have together. And I lay them all out on the piano, and then before I know it, I've run out of time, and I don't get them all in. So today, that's why I say I probably owe an apology. Uh, Mrs. Vern, Zern, I'm so sorry, Z-E-R-N, has written me and she said, Martha, will you please do My Sheep Know My Voice? Now this is written as if the shepherd wrote it, as if Jesus Christ wrote it. It says, My Sheep Know My Voice in the Path That I Take. Not quite as familiar as the um, 23rd Psalm, and of course you know that's what it is. Is that the most familiar chapter in the Bible? I think more people can probably do that or say that off the top of their heads than probably any other scripture. And there are many, many versions, musical versions. I have, oh, maybe a half a dozen. I chose the one today. We used to have a, a Scottish pastor who always wanted the Crimmins version. But today, I chose this one. And then I want us to go right in to My Sheep Know My Voice, written as if the shepherd wrote it. So if you know this, sing it with me. My sheep know my voice and the path that I take. They follow wherever I go. My sheep know my voice and come at my call. But a stranger's voice they do not know. stream where beside it still waters I lead my sheep know my voice and day by day they abide in the fold Valley 
of death through which I shall lead them someday. But no danger nor harm can touch one of them, for I will be with them always, my sheep, oh my voice. So we have done My Sheep Know My Voice, and like I said, I probably owe an apology because that request came in some time ago, and I just seem like invariably. I think I want to confess something to you also today. You know that third verse, when I was practicing, and you know I do practice, <laughs> well I do, before I come to the studio I try and get everything all ready for us, and I looked at that third voice and I thought, my sheep know my voice in the valley of death. I don't want to do that verse. It's a negative thing. Is it? Well, then I looked at the next. But no danger nor harm can touch one of them, for I will be with them always. And I thought, no, I have to sing that last verse because that's our assurance, right? Sure, that's what he promised.